Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is a 2021 Honda CRF 300L Rally, and today I'll show you how to replace the hand grips. This is a brand new bike, but the factory grips just aren't all that grippy, so the owner asked me to install some Pro Taper grips. I'll have to remove the bar end weights to install the new grips, but other than that, there isn't much more to say, so let's get to it. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Tongue and groove pliers, Phillips number no. three screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, tiny flathead screwdriver, and a utility knife. This has to be a Phillips number no. three. That just has to be around that size. That has to be a tiny screwdriver, tiny flathead. These channel locks could have been bigger. That knife is super duper sharp. For this job, I also needed an air compressor, gloves, really strong hair gel, a rag, and a set of grips. There are links in the description for everything I used. One of the grips will have a larger inner diameter because it's made for the throttle side. I didn't worry about scratching the bar end weights because I'll be installing handguards in their place, but sometimes I use a rag or an old bicycle inner tube to protect them. A sharp blade is the quickest way to remove the old grips. If you want to remove the mounts for the bar end weights, just reinstall the weight a few threads deep, pry out the tabs on the top and the bottom, and pull out the mount. I've used hairspray to install grips on motorcycles and bicycles since I was about 8 years old. That probably sounds weird if you've never done it before, but it's perfect because it helps the grip slide on easily, it dries like glue, usually overnight, and it doesn't leave a mess to clean up every time you replace the grips, like glue does. I was out of state to film this video and found some extra strong hair gel in the house I was staying in, so I thought I'd give it a shot. To be completely honest, I used a little too much hair gel and it still wasn't dry after a couple days, so I pulled the grip off, wiped off the excess hair gel, and slid the grip back on. With just a light coat of product, the grips were stuck in place after 24 hours of drying out. Hairspray doesn't have that problem because it naturally creates a very thin coat that dries out quickly. The grip on the throttle side was a lot more difficult to get on, so I used an air compressor to help it move along. It barely worked, but it was just enough to get the job done. Keep in mind, the air compressor trick won't work as well if you don't have a grip installed on the other bar end for back pressure. By the way, you can now support the channel by purchasing this awesome design available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and in a bunch of different colors as well. Check for a link in the description below. Make sure to wipe up your mess so your friends don't make fun of you. The two grooves on each grip are there in case you want to tightly wrap some safety wire in those places to make the grips extra secure. The handguard installation video for this bike will be coming out soon, so come back and check that one out too. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more of the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. <laughs>